Hey fellas, thought you might enjoy this visit to the Metropolitan Restoration Service Incorporated. This is here in Hartleton, Pennsylvania, right next door to the village that I live in. And uh, you can tell by the name that what they specialize in Let's take a walk around and look at it. This one here, rather than having the bumpers chrome, they painted them black. And uh, it's have a pretty neat grill on them. As you can see, it has that big M right in the middle, which stands for Metropolitan. These were made by Nash. And, uh, they were one of the original unibody style automobiles. They have not, didn't have a separate frame on. I used to work on these back when I was an auto mechanic. Had a customer actually who owned several of them. And uh, I would work on them evenings after I got done at my regular day job as an auto mechanic. Let's take a look inside here. It looks like it's not completely finished yet. It's got the meter handle over there. Very simple dashboard. The only gauge is, is the fuel gauge and the speedometer. Very, very simple. They're all three speed standard column shift. Very simple seating. There actually is seating behind there for very, very short people. It's very nicely restored. No carpeting on the floor. These just had rubber mats. Very nice headliner in it. We could tell this is a, a later model one. A later model, I mean like 62 or so because it has a trunk lid. The earlier ones uh, in the late 50s had no trunk lid and the only access to the trunk was actually from behind the jump seat in the back. And because they're such a small car, the spare tire is mounted out on the back as a Continental kit. All of them had that. Very nicely done. Kind of a unique touch on the top there. A little taxi sign. Here, look in here again to get a better idea of the uh, fair cubo meter. Cubo meter. I guess it's cabo meter. That's what it says. You need. And what is your name, sir? My name is John. John. John is one of the owners here. It's uh, brothers and dad, is that right? That's right. Okay. Myself, Chris, and my father, Paul. Can you tell us a little bit about this particular Metropolitan? This, this car, a uh, customer contracted with us, asked me to find him a car last year at Hershey. Uh, okay. I bought this car down in Maryland. It was fairly rough, but ran and drove. Uh, so we basically brought it in. Tore everything apart, rebuilt the engine, the brakes, the clutch, the suspension, everything. Stripped all the paint down and repainted it the colors you see here. And um, I know when I used to work on these, had a lot of problem with corrosion in the braking system and the clutch system. Do you use, uh, um, what's the word I want? Synthetic? Yes, brake we fluid. use yeah, we yeah. use synthetic uh, silicone dot five brake fluid in these okay. for that reason. Yeah. Since they sit so much, you know, in people's garages and so forth, it just makes sense. And what is the size of the engine in this? This, this one has a fifteen hundred cc, it's the high compression, fifty two okay. horsepower engine. Okay. Very, very nicely restored, I might add. Thank you. Yeah, I it was a long time before I discovered synthetic brake fluid after rebuilding wheel cylinders and master cylinders. 
over and over again for the same vehicle for the same reason. So Set many of these, the year. we open them up and they're just full of like a white powder yep. inside and it's in everything. So right. this has all new lines, all new cylinders, everything. Everything's new. Very nice. And what year is this one? This is a 1960. Okay. I knew it was uh, what I would call a later model yep. one. With the, the trunk lid and the yep. vent windows. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. And this engine has the oil filter, whereas the earlier ones didn't have the oil filter. And this is basically the same engine they had in MGs, Yes, right? it is. Yeah, it's the same engine family. There's a few little differences for this car, but it's the same engine family. Very, very nicely done. And for those of you interested in such things, look at the size of the tailpipe. different than a vacuum cleaner when it comes right down to it when it's running. Maybe a sewing machine would be a better description. Oh, there you have it. Very, very nicely done. Nicely restored. So, thanks for watching. This is George. Shade